Yo, what's up guys, it's Nate here. So, as you guys can see, actually I'm top 2 on ladder. I think I just finished up streaming on Twitch for like an hour. It wasn't too long. I think I was, what, like top 50 and I managed to push up push up the top 2. So, honestly, not too bad. But anyways, getting back to what today's video is going to be about. It's going to be uh, my best of 5 versus Yasu. I know a lot of you always ask me, like, Nate, what is the matchup between 2.6? Well, no, well, you know, Nayez will see probably in the video, Oyasu, one of the best 2.6 players. Anyways, hope you guys do enjoy the video, and I'll probably just see you guys straight into the first match. Man, this is crazy, though. You know, I did DM Oyasu, I think, two months ago for the best of five, so I'm just thankful that he finally, like, decided to respond, and he agreed. But man, like, coming from someone who used to watch Oyasu, like, two years ago, and to be able to best of five him now, it's just kind of crazy. Anyways, I did tell him to run uh, Ice Spirit or E Spirit. I feel like whichever version he did prefer to run against me. But you know, I think I will be using the. Uh, yeah, I'll be using Tesla and also the I Tower. I feel like Tesla isn't as popular. I think I Tower is a lot better in this meta, especially especially for mid ladder. But you know, I feel like with Tesla, I think the matchup is like 70 30 for minor control. And if I have I Tower, I think it is 60 40. Anyways, I'm probably just to put the matchup and I'll probably will just cut whenever Oyasu does except the first match. You know, now that I look back on it, I think I'm 0-3 like in like pro v pro. Let's see, I lost versus Momo in the best of three because he was using 3M and I still lost. I lost against Riley in the best of five and I also lost against Aragon in the best of five. So man, if I don't win this, I'm going to be 0-4 against like all pros. You know, that kind of sucks, but you know, I do have matchup. So hopefully I, do not, I don't lose. Although like every time like, I put against Yasu, he plays very weird. I feel like most 2 one players I face, like, they usually know, like, what deck I'm running. I feel like they're very aggressive, like, always going, like, hog fireball. But if I like, remember correctly, Oyasu plays, like, I don't know if it's, like, weird to say, but, like, he plays, like, he's still in 2017, like, 2018. He's, like, very, uh, strategical, I guess, like, the way he plays. Like, he's not, he's not too passive, but he's not too aggressive either. Like, he knows exactly what to do. Anyways, get back to the game. I am running Tesla, so it should be a lot easier, I hope. So he goes for pre-log. I guess he thought I would play my Dark Prince, but, you know... I usually don't want to take any damage in this matchup. Again, all the damage does matter. So, you know, even if you go for a minor and your opponent, like, you, your minor only gets one hit, I feel like it's still worth it. I feel like if I do lose to Oyasu in this best of five, it's literally either going to be because of a hog hit or because, or because I just fat finger building. So let's see, go Dark Prince to back here. He plays Musketeer in the back. So again, if he, if he decides to play into, like, my same lane, he plays go for log delivery. So you go minor the Musketeer. I'm hovering my Tesla if he wants to go for hog. So minor should be locked on the Musketeer. I'm actually gonna log this Ice Golem away. Like I just said before, like all the chip damage does matter, so I don't even want to give him like Ice Golem that damage at all. So let's just see. We are like almost heading into double elixir. He hasn't really touched my tower in like terms of damage. I feel like only log cycle. So go for a te Tesla high here and then go for skele skeletons. I think the one thing the one good thing about Tesla is you know, even if I do misclick misclick a Tesla, I think I can push the hog away or push the hog towards the my Tesla with the skeletons. So go for Dark Prince here. He goes for a Musketeer. So he's definitely back to Hog Rider. I do go for rockets. Oh no, wait, the Ice Spirit. Please don't give the hog hits. Oh my god. You know, I'm throwing, I'm actually throwing. Okay, let's go for minor here. He goes, he goes for Musketeer skeletons. Man, dude, I really don't want to lose in the first game. That beats really bad, but you know, it's whatever. He goes for Hog Rider. Uh, I don't really agree with that Hog Rider. Maybe he thought, I would hit, maybe like he misclicked it. It should be fine here. I probably just go for E Spirit for the Musketeer. Dude, okay. Thankfully, the Musketeer only got one shot. Let's go minor the back here, go for E Spirit. He does get a King Tower activation. Like I said before, I don't really mind giving up one. I feel like as long as I get the damage lead, as long as I'm in the damage lead, I should be completely fine. Although now he probably just go for like Fireball Cycle. But like, it looks like you know, he wants to go for Musketeer. Again, the way he's playing is so weird. I feel like if I face like any other 2.6 player, they'd probably like most likely just go for like a fireball. But it looks like he won't. So let's go for Tesla. Go for Dark Prince here. He's definitely gonna fireball this. Do I need a log? Okay, I don't think I needed that log. Just gonna play it safe though. But we're still he's actually up in damage lead. We should should still be okay. So go mine at the back here, go for E-Spirit. Man, please don't lose, Nate. Please don't lose. Okay, let's see. Mine's getting so much ship damage. He's definitely not gonna play his hog against that, right? So you go for skeletons, go for delivery. Go for Tesla higher in the middle to bring over the Hog Rider. I still don't know that damage. Okay, nice. So let's do the same thing. Let's go Minor on the outside this time. I feel like going Minor on the back is too predictable. So once again, I think Minor got what? Only two hits, but again, all the damage does, mat does matter in this matchup. So he goes for Hog Rider here, so hopefully my Rocket does everything. Okay, nice. So go for Skeletons. He does go for Prediction Log. 
So we'll force out our Dark Prince from my end. But we're like, like I guess slowly like breaking the lead that he has on us or what we have on him. So you go from out of the front here, then go for a pre-log onto his skeletons. Is he gonna eat that? He's actually gonna eat that. So you go for a rocket once again. It should fully counter the hog. Okay, nice. You go for skeletons, then probably going for a pre-log. So you go for e spare first and go for Dark Prince. Okay, we're up 200 damage, but the only thing I'm afraid of now is like his hog in the back. So he goes hog in the back, yeah. He's probably gonna go hog in the back. Can we defend this though? He's probably going for like a double musketeer. Man, the way he plays, like he plays the he plays like the same way like he would play like in 2017. It's just so weird. So a really nice juicy delivery log onto his musketeer. Just waiting, being patient, I guess. So we go for Tesla last second. Status go minor e spirit for the chip damage. Maybe he'll let me chain. Okay, no chain, which is fine. Let's go for the log here. Here's our hog in the back. Alright. I'm going to go minor to apply pressure. He's probably going for like another musketeer. So go for Dark Prince to block the cannon. Oh yeah. So he would do to block the cannon. He's back to their hog rider, but go for Tesla once again. Go for uh, skeletons. No choking, please. Okay, a log delivery should fully kill everything, right? Oh my god, hog rider. <laughs> no. Okay, I'm just going to go for a rocket. Go for E Spirit. Please deny the hog rider. You have got to be kidding me, dude. Let's give him the GG. Ah, oh, dude, it pains me so much to say that LA lost by two hog rider hits in a log. Man, dude, that sucks. Anyways, that should put us 0-1 against Oyasu in the best of five. Man, dude, that's really annoying. But, you know, dude, my phone is charging, please. Okay, anyways, I'm probably going to keep on going with, with the Tesla version. I need to win, bro. Tesla should be a lot easier, but yeah. You know, I feel like no matter what, like, what the outcome is in this best of five, just know that my control does have magic against 2.6. You know, I feel like the only reason why you should lose is unless you face like Yersin, Oyasu, or like possibly Noro. I think like probably one of the like three best like 2.6 players in general. But anyways, again, going for round two. I shouldn't lose this, hopefully not. So go for Tesla once again for the Hog Rider. You guys can see like it was pretty easy defense up until like Triple Elixir, you know. I feel like if I'm not careful, you can like, go for like double Musketeer, like double Hog Rider. And you guys saw that and I guess it just got overwhelmed. And you know, just making those small like micro mistakes and just losing the match because of that. You know, it's fine regardless, you know. Again, it's like even having a chance to like best of five Oyasu, it's still kind of crazy. Like, what? He has like 500k subs on YouTube and I only have like 25k. So, you know, it's all good. I feel like it is a, like a learning experience for you guys and also for myself. You know, but it is pretty bad. Like, hopefully, again, I don't lose. So, he yeah, does outcycle cycle my Tesla, but thankfully, I'm already back to it. So, go for delivery log. Uh oh, that was a really bad Tesla. So, I have to go for log here. Please, Hog Rider. Oh my god, dude. If the Hog Rider got one more shot into my tower. <laughs> Oh man, I don't know what else I would have said. Probably just like quit the game. But let's see, he goes through Ice Golem, Ice Spirit. And there's no way he's back to Hog Rider or he isn't a Fluxer. So probably just block the Ice Spirit with the E Spirit. But I think that Ice Golem will get like one hit and also death damage. I think that's fine though. He goes through Musketeer. Okay, he does all cycle my Tesla once again. Man, let's go for a rocket. But the way Yasu plays, just it's just so weird. He plays. Not like a robot, I mean, I guess he does play like a robot, but like in a good way. Like his defenses are like, they seem so simple, but it does work in like, I feel like it does work. Because again, I feel like most 2 and 6 players, they would probably just like fireball my tower and it's like killing off the hog riders. But Oyasu's just like, it's like mechanical. I guess like, yeah, his mechanical gameplay is micro. Like everything he does is, he does it for a reason. Like that ice one with the bridge, like you guys would think like, oh, Nate, that, that would be such a bad play, right? But the way he does it, like he does it for a reason to bait out Dark Prince and etc. Like maybe not. Anyways, you guys can see again, the deadly ice spirit skeletons combo. <clears throat> it is really frustrating. Literally just always fully counter my minor. But should be fine regardless. <clears throat> I haven't really given him a King activation just yet. So here's your Hog Rider opposite lane. So let's see, go for ice spirit skeletons. It should fully counter the ice golem. But you just waste ice spirits. So you go mine at the back here. Press to go for... Okay, never mind. I don't know what that cannon was. I feel like maybe he thought it would like retard it onto his cannon, but it didn't. So that, I think that was a waste of three elixir. So you go for log here. Okay, musketeer at the back. I don't really get like why he's not fireballing my tower. Maybe like I'll ask him. Maybe I'll ask him after the best of five. But let's go for a rocket here. They should hit the ice golem. It's pretty nice. Let's go for minor once again. Go for delivery. Please lock on the delivery. Okay, nice. So I think minor, minor did get like one hit on the tower. Honestly, not too bad. So again, I don't really want to give him a king character activation like I did last time. I feel like that was my mistake and that's why like I lost. So go for a rocket once again. Thankfully my rockets are on point today. So go for skeletons, go for dark prince. Don't want that musketeer lock into my tower. So we do have like a solid damage lead, but the question is can we keep it? So let's see, he goes for musketeer once again. Okay, I'm actually going for log here. 
I think even though like, I'm wasting the log, I think a uh, log delivery should fully counter musketeer always. So delivery Tesla should fully counter everything. And again, I feel like the t this Tesla position is the anti-fireball position, so he's not able to, to fireball my uh, tower and also my Tesla. Let's go minor the front here. Okay, he will catch, so that was a pretty bad minor on my end. But, you know, it's all good. I feel like, I feel like as long as Hog doesn't get like any damage, heading to, heading into triple elixir, it should be okay. So let's see, go for delivery. I really don't want to waste my log delivering this musketeer, but you know, I'd rather just kill it than deal with like a one HP musketeer. So go for minor, minor once again. He is catching. Please one minor hits. Okay, no minor damage. So let's go for a rocket once again. Do we hit the musketeer? Okay, we missed. Have to go for log. Musketeer, don't, dude. Every little damage matters in this matchup, and if, and the fact that I'm giving him like always like one musk hit or like one hog hit, it's really annoying. So go for a log. He spray on his musketeer. He does predict. Hmm, okay, go for Miner here. He's going for Hog Rider. Let's go for Rocket. Do I need to log this? I don't want to log this, but I think I have to. Yeah, go for Log. Ooh, wait, he's e he's eating my damage from my Miner opposite lane. I don't think that's the right play. Let's go for Tessa High. Okay, he does predict. My delivery's not in the range. Man, this is so bad. Don't tell me he's back to Hog Rider. Okay, just go for Log here. Delivery. I think I'm already back to another Tesla, which is good. Let's go for Tesla once again. Okay, somehow rushing out losing, which is good. So he goes for fireball. I think now it's time to go for rocket. I think he's able to cycle back to another fireball, but it's applied pressure. Going minor back here. Go for skeletons, go for e spirits. Minor, please one hits. Okay, nice. And I think this should be GG. Oh my god, how did he make that so close with Tesla? You know, okay, now it is 1 1. But you know, if the matches were that close with uh, Tesla, I'm kind of scared to know how I'm going to do with Inferno, although I am like the best one trick with like the Inferno variant. So hopefully I don't lose. Man, dude, I just have a feeling like I'm just going to lose for to, like, to, like, a, to like a hog hit or a fireball. But I'll probably just see you guys in the next match. Alright, let's see. So I'm in round three. I think I want to, yeah, hopefully I did switch to Inferno. Okay, I did. So again, I feel like Inferno is probably like 70-30. Of course, it is still Miner's matchup. But you know, having a 3.1 cycle and like him at 2.6, I can be outcycled pretty hard in single elixir. But you know, having the eye tower, having log delivery for the musketeer, and then having a rocket. So let's see, go for Dark Prince here. He keeps having like stuff in the back. He goes for musketeer. He is giving me a lot of value with my with my log delivery. So he goes for hog rider. So you go for eye tower here. Okay, thankfully it does bring over the hog rider. So let's see, didn't he just waste ice spirits? Okay, never mind. I'm pretty sure he's back to it. Musketeer should lock onto the eye tower. Yeah, looks like, looks like it does. So go for skellies, skellies here. So man, I really can't play my ice spirit or I can't play my miner. I feel like every time I do, I'll probably just be feeding him an ice spirit. So you have to wait here, although I don't want to leak either. Let's so go miner at the back. So I'm gonna go for like ice spirit skeletons. So one miner hits. Okay, yeah. So miner is dead. But you know, getting that one miner hit, you know, again. I feel like in the end, if I do win or lose, it's always going to come down to either a fireball, a log, or like one or two minor hits. So let's go for a rocket onto his hog rider and go, let's see, he won't support this ice golem. Although I still might go for ice spirit. Again, I don't really want like any damage to bypass to my tower, like get to my tower. So no death damage is good. So he goes for ice golem once again. I'm like, again, like I'm really curious in like why he doesn't like fireball my tower. He's just playing like everything in the back. But I don't know. Again, I have to ask him myself. But let's just see. Dark Prince is coming down the lane. He's probably going to go for like a like Ice Spirit Hog Rider opposite lane if I assume. Yeah, so he goes for Hog Rider. So once again, going for Eye Tower here. He did just waste Ice Spirits. But like, I don't want to overcommit too much looks here. So just going to wait here. Again, I feel like that Musk Musketeer should lock onto my Eye Tower. So go for Ice Spirit to fully counter. And now we are heading into double elixir. So again, like we haven't really like touched our tower at all. It's really just been logs. So I'm actually going to go Minor opposite lane. I feel like that might like trick him into thinking. Okay, never mind. It's not gonna trick anyone. You know, it's all Yasu. What am I saying? So they go for a delivery on his musketeer, and that delivery hit nothing. Uh, what am I doing? Okay, so those are higher drops in lane. I feel like he should, he should be going same lane, but I'm not too sure. So go for e spirit. Go for dark prince here. Should fully kill the musketeer. So looks like he will fireball my right side. Okay, so he has all tackle my eye tower. So go for rocket here. Go for Miner, so he does go for Ice Spirit Skelly, so that, that does fully counter my Miner. Let's so go for Log here. I think Log and e Spirit should fully counter this Musky, so I don't see not too bad. Again, he hasn't really like chosen a lane to focus in on yet, and like neither have I. So I can probably just like keep on going like opposite lane. So there's Hog Rider, so let's go for uh, Eye Tower here for his uh, Hog. 
Again, I feel like that musky should lock onto my eye tower. Go for Sky, so let's see. Go Miner on the right side. Musketeer is locked on the eye tower. So you go for log, like for skeletons. You know skeletons, so Miner's actually getting a lot of damage. So let's go for a rocket here. And just like that, we're actually in the damage lead, up like 300. And you're just like slowly getting the Miner chip. So you go for skeletons here for the Musketeer. Looks like he won't pre lock, so you go for uh, E Spirit. I actually go Miner the front once again. Those are Ice Spirit, so probably just go for. Uh, I probably should run for a pre log, but you can go for a log onto his Musketeer. I didn't think that. I thought he would play like his can or something. Let's go for Eye Tower. You have got to. Oh, no. You have got to be kidding me. Please, Dark Prince, fully counter that. Okay, I. Wait, did that hog hit? I have no idea. I don't think it did. Man, dude, you've got to be kidding me, dude. I missed like one Eye Tower and I took 800 damage. Actually, bro, moment. Okay, let's see. Go for Eye Tower or Deliver on the Musketeers. Go for Rocket. Muskie is locked on, but at this point, I just have to eat damage uh, opposite like both lanes. Man, just like that, dude. Just miss like miss click one card and we lose. Man, triple looks for so much pain. Okay, let's go for eye tower. I mean, minor in the back here. He does miss his log, so he's like that's like one mistake Oyasha has made. Okay, let's see delivery. Do I need an eye tower? Okay, no, I don't need a log. So let's go for rockets. Please log, get down in time. Oh my god, looks like it does. Man, Oyasu like he. <laughs> He plays this so well, but like it's so weird. Like I, I just can't describe it. I mean, I, I guess this is why like he's like the best 2.6 player, or like he was anyways. Go for, man. Also, time to go a rocket on the musketeer, but let's play safe here. A log delivery dark prince should fully count as hog rider, right? Hog rider. Okay, looks like it does. Let's go for a rocket onto his tower. Goes for hog rider opposite lane. I don't think that's gonna that's the play, but we'll see. Let's see, mine in the front here. He's probably back to like another hog rider. Goes for musketeer. Mm, okay, I have to rock his hog rider. Please don't tell me I'm gonna regret that. Go for a log onto the tower. Hog rider, you. Oh my god, you have. Man. Oh, dude. <laughs> I literally told myself I would not let a hog connect. There's one hog hit and it cost me the game again. And that one musketeer hit locked on my tower. Dude, I'm actually down one and two, and I'm gonna lose with, uh, a, like, I guess a soft counter. Dude, you've got to be kidding me. I need to stop, like, making so many, like, small mistakes. Anyways, I'll probably just see you guys in the last match of the vid. Oh my god, he said Hog is broken. <laughs> Dude, I'm, like, really about to go 0-4 against Pro v Pros. And, like, best of fives. Like, first, it was Momo. Second, it was Riley. I think third was Era. And then now it's gonna be Oyasu. Is there a, not, like, one YouTuber that I can, like, beat with a good matchup? But I'm pretty sure Expo, Bait, 2.6, and 3M are like all good matchups for me. So why can I not beat it? Man, this is really annoying. And we just go for a uh, Eye Tower for his Hog Rider. I feel like if he has like go back on my losses, like even for myself, I'm gonna like watch this video back and just realize the only reason why I lost, I feel like in like against Oyasu was literally just because I either misclicked an Eye Tower or I just like fat fingered a rocket or you know the third reason. I feel like my Twitch my Twitch chat tells me this all the time. Whenever I lose a match, they always tell me it's a skill issue. So, you know, guys, maybe it is maybe it is a skill issue. So let's go for a rocket onto his hog rider. Please don't tell me that hogs can get a hit. I have got to be like the worst rocket player ever, man. Why can I not just like whenever I put down a rocket, it, why does it push the hog towards my tower? It's like I just like I'm just telling Oyasu, hey Oyasu, I'm gonna just hand you a free win here. Man, here, just guys, remember this. If we like, if this game goes on into like the last minute, it's like five minutes of the game, and it probably will. If I lose, just know that I probably lost because of a hog rider hit once again. Like, I don't know what's worse, like losing a princess bridge, losing a march in my bridge, losing because of one expo tick, or losing because of one, one hog rider hits. I feel like minor control, you just, you can't afford to make any mistakes. I feel like you can probably like, say that for like any other deck, but you know. I really hate it when I use my control and I just make this one small, small mistake and I just lose because of it. But all I, really, all I really can do is just adapt and just move on and just get better, I guess. Anyways, we are heading into Double Elixir, you know. I did give him a king, king card activation, but somehow we actually are in damage lead. So let's just see how this goes. So he's probably going to support this musket with the Ice Golem. So go for Eastbury the Bridge. Again, always save my log delivery for his, um, uh, for his musky. So it looks like he will catch my miner. Oh, it's so annoying. So go for eye tower here. Go for delivery. Man, if I fat figure another eye tower here. You know, it's all good. I think he will outcycle my eye tower. So let's go for a rocket. But it's all good there. 
Let's go. East Spirit the bridge to force out like more elixir. Go mine in the safe spot. So go for a rocket. Looks like he does like miss his cannon. So let's go for log. Go for skeletons. This should fully counter, right? Looks like it does. So again, I don't really again, I don't really get why he's like not fired by my tower, but you know, I will take this win, hopefully. Let's go for Dark Prince back here. East Spirit. Okay, he does like I guess I can't really go for eye tower because the actual wood tank, so now I have to go for a and log as well onto the uh, hog because you know hog rider always a two shot after the rock has come down and i'm pretty sure like even if an east spirit does chain it still leaves the hog rider a two shot so i'm not taking that risk of letting the hog get another shot into my tower so let's see go for east spirit it's probably not outside me once again let's go for rockets i don't want to waste a log but i have to i have to go minor defense as well minor please oh my god that minor was like a millisecond away from like not getting down in time okay man this match should not be this close, man. Okay, let's go for E-Spirit. Let's go for Rocket once again. Dude, he's like putting me like in such a weird cycle to where like, I'm not really allowed to go into the Miner. And if I do, it's just always going to get denied by like an Ice Spirit or Skeleton's Log. But you know, at least the good thing is that I am forcing him to waste his Log every single time. So let's see. Dark Prince does connect. Would it be like a big brain play to go opposite lane? Okay, let's see. So like, go for Delivery. Uh, okay, go I tower last second to kill the Musketeer. You know, I might try like a big brain play and just go uh, opposite lane. All this, like, this might not be the right play since I already have like 300 damage in the other lane. And I literally always tell you guys, like, all the chip damage does matter in this matchup. So, you know, I'm already committed to going to the left lane. So, you know, I might as well just overcommit. So, let's see. How does the. Okay, thank I thought the higher, like, pushed the ice golem away. But thankfully, it didn't. So, now I have to go for delivery, go for rocket. Of course, I missed my uh, delivery, but you know, it's all good. I am in like a pretty good cycle, so let's go for Ice Tower once again. I think go for Delivery and then go for Log here. Even if he goes for Fireball, I don't think it matters too much here. He goes for Log, but he does miss my Ice Tower. So he goes for Skelly's the back, so I just go for Rocket. Oh man, please, Ice Tower come down in time. Okay, nice. But now he's trying to outcycle me, yeah. He's definitely bashing another Hog Rider here. So go for Dark Prince. Mm, please fully counter this Hog, I beg you. Okay, go for Delivery, go for Log. E Spirit, please, Hog Rider, don't get one more shot okay i take it back hogger is probably like the most annoying win con for me to face go for eye tower here okay, please rocket come down in time i'm pretty sure this does enough right rocket log please log don't do me dirty you have oh my god i <sighs> dude you got to be kidding me if i just went opposite lane dude i lose to another log and just hog ultimate you know all i'm gonna say is pain dude anyways uh, i guess gg's to yasu one three man oh man dude i have i have no words i guess gg's it was a lot of fun you know what can i say man that i yeah thanks for coming on like for even like tim to accept dude losing by a hog rider hit a fireball and a log it's a great way to wrap up this video 3-1 but just know guys that again this is I think like some like I guess to summarize this video up and some tips and tricks again even though I lost 1-3 which is pretty embarrassing I think of course it's still my controls matchup you guys you guys saw again if you make one mistake you will probably lose but if you play perfectly I think my control should win every time wait he asked me to add him wait that's a W I may have taken like a fat L for losing to Oyasu but he asked me to add him so you know I think we'll take that W so I guess let's just do a 2v2 I guess so let's just hop straight into it I really am 0-4 against pros in like best of five series. Man, what is this, dude? What am I ever getting like a free pity win from pros? But man, I guess if you guys like are this far in the video, I guess make sure to let me know in the comments below like who do you guys want me to best of five next? Possibly Ian or like Remy Eli. I think there's like really two popular names. But man, if I got like this annoyed against Oyasu facing 2.6, I can't imagine Remy Eli. Remy Eli, like I know it's like really good with this deck, but you know, this dude would literally march anything that's on my field. But, you know, looking back on it, you know, I may have taken a fat L. I may be 0-4 against pros. I may have lost 1-3 to Oyasu when I have, like, a really good matchup. But, you know, at least I, at least I get to add the legend himself, 2.6 legend Oyasu. But, man, dude, that is so bad, dude. How am I 0-4, man? I really am 0-4 against pros. I mean, you guys, I do promise you one day I will break the curse. I refuse to go own five and like whoever I do best five next. Anyways, that'll probably be the end of the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Yeah, it looks like we are still top four and ladder, so 
Whenever this video does drop, I'll probably drop like the best of five versus Oyasu first, and then after that, I'll continue like the top ladder vids. Anyways, I guess thank you so much for Yasu too for agreeing to come on to the channel and just doing the best of five. But man, one and three. <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys did enjoy the video. I guess make sure to like and subscribe for my pain. And it's been Nate, and I will see you guys later.